You're watching BTP Sports Talk Live, sidelines and sideline. This is Richard Walker, the great sports Morpheus. I am here with Dunye Bradley, my former quarterback, I might add. We're out here at NRG Stadium where the Texans have just scored none other than J.J. Watt, returned an interception for a touchdown. The score is now 14-10. Prior to that, uh, Dunye, in the first half, we saw the Texans struggle in run defense very badly. Uh, we had a couple of uh, interceptions by Ryan Fitzpatrick, one of them being basically a scenario where, in my opinion, it wasn't so much of a bad throw. It was more of uh, DeAndre Hopkins failing the fight for the football, so to speak. Now, obviously, this is a, a big play that, that changed the, the momentum of the game, but let's, let's focus on the strategy because you still have to face this Buffalo offense that's been running the ball pretty well against you. Uh, they exploited some opportunities. They had like, some drops that they, uh, they could have converted. So you have some you have some holes in your game right now that, that you need to plug. So putting you in the coach's seat right now, you're in Bill Bro Bill O'Brien's seat. What type of defensive adjustments would you make um, based on what you saw in the first half? Pretty much, uh, one problem they have they need to start making more sure tackles, uh, pursuing more. The pressure is getting there, but they, they got to complete the tackles because right now Buffalo are breaking a lot of tackles and making big plays. But one of the, one of the plays that uh, Mitch and I were in the press box, it's, uh, I believe it was second and goal, and we saw literally DJ Swearinger walk into the box and left the slant wide open for that touchdown that Sammy Watt scored. You know, those are the type of the observations that we make, you know, uh, defensively speaking. Offensively speaking, you're still giving up a lot of pressure on Fitzpatrick. And I know there's a lot of Fitzpatrick haters. I know there's a, there's a the Malik crew is warming up their bands. So tell me right now, you know, what's your assessment of uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick so far? Fitzpatrick, he got to make better decisions with the ball. He can't force the issue with passes. They need to get more balanced with the run game in order to get the passing game going because right now it's inconsistencies three and out. They're not moving the ball well at all. So from Fitzpatrick, he just got to be smarter with the ball, which he normally is. But him forcing the issue with the passes, his arm not strong enough to do so. So he needs to just lay off of it, dink and dunk, and move it how they can, 5-10, 5-10. Okay, two more questions. We're going to start with wrapping up this game. Give me a final score of this game. I said this game right here, 24-17 Texans. Okay, 24-17 Texans. Now, Dunya, you know that I am a card-carrying Dallas Cowboys fan. So tell me, how many points are my Cowboys going to whip your Texans by next week? Ashley. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up on that note. You're watching BTP Sports Talk Live, sideline to sideline. Bring the pain. <laughs>